I started taking tests, man, in my fucking 20s. And I basically kind of like started treating it like HRT. Yep. Um, so I didn't take a lot, but I just stayed on. Um, so yeah, I've been on tests, um, low doses, but. What's your dose? Uh, I was doing 100 milligrams every five days, and Got then it. I moved it to every four days. So pretty fucking low. Um, but enough to where you feel, you know, like you're 20 years old. You, you, know? What's your, you know what your level is about? It varies. I do blood work pretty regularly. Um, it's around like 900. <laughs> <laughs> the range is, the range is 350 to like 800. No, so no, like no, you're, no, you're, you're no, definitely it's, at the it's, highest. No, 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 it's, not, it's 400, or, 400 to 1200. To yeah, 1200? Like 12, oh, like, like okay, Tyron sorry, Woodley was like 1100 Got or something. Like, but, but to be at 900 is not super common. Like, do you know what yours is? It was 500 the last time I got And I'm about 530, yeah. yeah. I mean, it declines with age, and I think it's like genetic. I think black guys have higher tests. Um, okay. For sure. I think it's like a genetic thing. Um, and yeah, it just, it helps, man. It's not something that, you know, is something to fucking look over. I mean, it's a big deal. I mean, it's your recovery. It's, you know, putting on muscle. It's, it's a whole, whole fucking, you know, a lot of things. And so I think once you start declining, I mean, most of my friends that are like 40 and over, they're just on, on, on. Just getting the know? shots. And yeah. I, and I think people like on the Rogan side and stuff like that, they're all, they're all running it too. I don't yeah. know if Goggins does, but like. I don't think he does, but he fucking should. It's so strange to me, guys like that, that are like so into fitness. And this is such a fucking edge. You know, I guess with him, it doesn't surprise me as much because, you know, he doesn't do any drugs. But guys that are out there like snorting coke and doing ecstasy, it's like, why the fuck would you not do fucking tests? You know, yeah. it's like, here's something Talk that's going to like, yeah, especially like super that's into fitness, right? You're like doing all these drugs that are fucking you up. You're not going to do like the one that's going to give you some like positive. Does it feel like cheating? Um, Does it matter? For me, I've been a whatever it takes kind of guy, you know? I've never been like a, oh, I want to follow the fucking rules and do everything right. Like, I've never given a fuck about that. Like, for, you know, when Lance Armstrong got busted, I was like, fucking so what, you know? Right. We're like fucking pissed off about it. But I think in almost every one of these sports, they're all fucking juicy. All taking shit. They're doing like designer drugs. They're taking stem cells. They're doing HGH. They're, they are doing a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like who gets caught, who gets away with it. Um, and to me, it's like, I just think, man, people should be able to do whatever the fuck they want. You know, there should probably be like parameters. Um, but like, why is it fair that Tyron Woodley has a naturally occurring 1100 and some fucking guy from Kentucky has to do it with a natural 400, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, is that fair? I'll tell you what's not fair. Being a fucking UFC fighter and losing to a YouTuber in a boxing match. <laughs> so I guess that high, Apparently that high, high test, test doesn't work. fucking matter because you got a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul on your finger, bro. Your test, no matter what the results are, to me, is zero. You failed you the test. You tested and you failed. <laughs> yeah. yeah.